For 75 years, the equalizer sway control hitch has been the best protection for your journey. For installation of your equalizer hitch without a pre-installed hitch ball, you will need the following. Equalizer hitch owner's manual, one and one eighth inch wrench, a ratchet wrench, one and one eighth inch socket, three quarter inch socket, five eighths inch socket, measuring tape, pencil, torque wrench capable of 75 foot pounds, torque wrench capable of 430 foot pounds, one and seven eighths inch thin walled socket, one and three quarter inch wrench. Install your equalizer hitch ball. Ensure your hitch ball has a threaded shank no longer than 2 and 3 eighths inches. Make sure your hitch ball is rated to tow your trailer's gross vehicle weight. The torque specification for the hitch ball is 430 foot-pounds. Measure from the ground to the top of your trailer frame at the front and back of the trailer. Adjust the trailer so that the frame is parallel to the ground. With the trailer parallel to the ground, measure from the ground to the top of the trailer coupler. Measure from the ground to the inside top of the receiver tube. Insert the adjustable shank into the receiver on the tow vehicle and secure it with a hitch pin and clip. Insert the spacer rivet with washers into the back of the hitch head. If you are unsure where to start, start with six washers. Insert a 3 quarter inch shank bolt with a flat washer through the top and bottom slots in the hitch head. Place the included flat washers, lock washers, and nuts onto the bolts and hand tighten. Tighten the angle set bolt until it comes into solid contact with the shank. The hitch ball should be 0 to 1 inches above the trailer coupler. Install your link plates between 27 and 32 inches back from the center of the trailer coupler. Ensure there are no gas lines, brake lines, or electrical wiring that could be affected by your link plate installation. Pinch the link plates to the trailer frame and tighten each bolt to 65 foot-pounds. Install the L-brackets with two holes showing above and below. Hand tighten the nylock nuts. Insert the spring arms into the sockets in the hitch head. Take each of the three measurements from the ground to the base of the driver's side wheel well. Record your measurements in the allotted space in the table. Couple the trailer to the tow vehicle without engaging any weight distribution. Make the second measurement. Record your measurements and complete the equation listed between line B and C on the table. Lift the spring arms onto the L brackets. If needed, use the included snap-up lever. Use the L pins to secure the arms. Make the final measurement. If line C is between line A and the calculated number of lines A and B, 
You have achieved good weight distribution. If you need more weight distribution, add a washer to the hitch head. For less weight distribution, remove a washer. Raising the L brackets will increase weight distribution and lowering the L brackets will decrease weight distribution. Torque the shank bolts to 320 foot-pounds. Torque the L-bracket bolts to 75 foot-pounds. Attach the safety chains, breakaway system, and 7-pin plug before leaving.